Hello, how are you all doing? So today, I thought, let's talk about how to sleep better. What can we do to improve our sleep hygiene? And why we must do something to improve our sleep hygiene? And the reason behind that is, the better you sleep, the more joyful you will be when you wake up next day, the more productive you will feel. Your ability to manage all the tasks that you will have at hand is going to be elevated when you sleep better. Your blood pressure will be under control. You have less risk of getting diabetes, obesity, and there is so much, so much research that is going on these days on the benefits of sleeping well, that you will be amazed when you start to practice those things. It has tremendous ability to give you the power to live a wonderful, better, joyous, happy and healthier life. So, today I thought that it's very important for me to address this topic because of recently, one of my cousin sisters has been going through a lot of sleepless nights. She had a very stressful job and uh, she was going through a lot of things personally also. And the one thing that really impacted her was her sleep. So when she started talking about that she's getting sleepless nights, she's not able to sleep, her productivity has gone down, she's getting anxiety, all those things put together, I decided maybe it's time to address this topic on my YouTube channel and hopefully it will benefit my subscribers. So one of the most important things that we can do to improve the quality of our sleep is to have a sleep schedule which is that you need to decide in your head what is the time that you will sleep and what is the time that you will get up. Creating that schedule of sleeping at a particular time and waking up at a particular time is going to help you set up a routine. Our mind and our bodies function very well when there is a routine. If some of you are young brother mothers, you will realize that when you set up a routine for your child, your little baby, your infant, things start to work very well because there's a system that you have put in place. And one thing is for sure, systems never fail, people do. So if you create a system and a routine and a schedule on the time to sleep and time to get up, that will help your body adjust to that system. And in doing that, if you follow it without fail, rigorously with commitment, it will help your body to recover from all the stress, all the physical hard work that it does on a day-to-day -day basis and you will be able to sleep better. The second very important tip which is again coming from research and has been proven again and again is 30 minutes before you sleep do not look at any of your screens. So one of the great greatest things that you can do in your personal life is anything with a screen whether it's a television, an iPad, an iPhone, a laptop don't keep it in your room okay there could be a chance that you have to keep it in your room make sure 30 minutes before you decide to sleep that time that you'd set up you will not look at any of your devices in doing that because of that blue screen um, interference with your body clock or body's production of uh, this term called melatonin which is the which is particularly a hormone that regulates sleep when you look at blue screens it interferes with it so 30 minutes before you sleep and you close all your devices then you are telling your mind your physical body it's time for me to sleep you are preparing your mind to sleep and when you do that you will sleep better i have struggled i'll be very honest i have struggled months upon months of leaving the habit of not looking at my phone while I sleep. Of In recent times, I have kept a book by my bedside and I keep my phone on the other side of the room so that I do not pick it up. And that has really helped my ability to sleep better. So keeping your devices away 30 minutes before you sleep is another very important tip. The third thing is, how do you prepare your bed before you sleep? 
So they say that at certain temperature, I do not know exact numbers, but a certain temperature is the best temperature to sleep in. So let's say you live in a warm place. So please put on the fan or your cooler or your air conditioner, whatever works for you with your body type and your body temperature. Put it on 10 minutes before you sleep. I have a beautiful uh, spray which is a jasmine spray because that's one smell that does wonders for my senses. Before I sleep, I spray some of it in my room and some on my pillow. And that is so inviting and welcoming to me that I, the minute I, you know, smell that smell, I'm like, oh, I'm ready to sleep. Wow, it's the end of the day. And I go into my la-la land and I'm happy and joyous and like, oh my God. It's like the bread, the, my bed is inviting me to have a party. It's literally that kind of a scenario in my head. So prepare your bed. If you like clean sheets, identify the colors that you really enjoy. Uh, I like shades of white and I like shades of gray, neutral shades, brown, beige. That's my color palette that I like. So usually my, my bed sheets would be either in one of those shades and for some uh, time I was using white bed sheets but they were difficult for me to maintain uh, so I, I have that color palette I you know spray that jasmine mist and I'm ready to go before I go to sleep I will say my prayers and I will think about uh, the wonderful things that I've been grateful for so having even a practice like that before you sleep where you have gratitude practice you think of the day and you're grateful for all the good things that happen in my case, that also one does wonders for me and helps me to sleep really well. Another thing that the research has proven, and I, I have not personally practiced, but I know when, as and when I do, it does help me sleep better, is taking a short walk before I sleep. So let's say I walk for five to seven minutes, exercising. They say physical exercise in any form, at any point of time in the day, is very beneficial for us to have better sleep and better um, ability to sleep very you know soundly during the night so if you do not do any form of exercise probably doing some form of exercise can also help you to sleep better there are other things that can also be helpful in sleeping uh, better is um, do not i mean not that you can't but try not to have uh, caffeine maybe coffee or anything that has caffeine remember lot of teas also have caffeine unless you're you're using tisans which are herbal and floral teas lot of teas also have caffeine so it's not just coffee but even some teas have caffeine so avoiding that because then again that tends to interfere with your sleep patterns and your sleep cycle so avoiding that a lot of researchers also say that you should have avoid alcohol before you sleep so if you can avoid alcohol and caffeine um, before you sleep, I think that can also one do wonders for the good quality of sleep that you may require during the night. Last but not the least are a few things that I have uh, discovered of late and I think they do wonders. One of the things that I really um, love doing is giving myself a little foot massage. So I have this lovely um, cream, actually that's a hand cream, but it, it has that smell of chamomile and I just beautiful beautiful relaxation and another one Linda Winter I have two of those and I would take some of the cream rub it on my hands and massage my foot gently both my feet gently before I sleep one it keeps my feet looking beautiful and gorgeous which is nice but at the same time it also relaxes me so much the other exercise that I do before I sleep is I'll just sit straight So I'll do deep breathing five to ten times. That tends to relax me. The other third exercise, there are three things that I do, is I'll move my shoulders like this. One in the front, again at the back, again in the front, again at the back, and again in the front. So three times I do that, three to five times, depending how tired I am that day. That also has really helps me to relax very nicely. And before I sleep, as I mentioned earlier, I tend to say a prayer of gratitude. And these things, these little habits of sleep hygiene, as I call them, 
have really elevated the quality of my sleep, the quality of the rest that I take. Remember, a good night's sleep is a very big part of your good tomorrow. Good health, good productivity, good joy, good happiness, good physical wellness and good mental wellness. So don't forget to apply some of these techniques and work on sleeping better. I do hope you like the content of this video and you will follow these practices. And if you like this video, do, do not forget to like it, share it and comment upon it. Any other challenges that you may be facing, I'll be happy to answer your queries. And if you like the content on my channel, do subscribe to it. Wishing you a very good night's sleep on all days from today onwards and hoping that you understand the impact what a good night's sleep can do on your well-being. That is my wish for you today. Bye for now.